Hi, this is Kevin with Cognition Mobile, and in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the volume plugin for DirecTV Remote Plus. Um, it's to get one thing out of the way, it, it is free to download and install, um, but it is considered a, a perk of the Pro version. So while you can install it and test it um, to make sure it'll work for you, you do need the Pro version of the main DirecTV Remote Plus app in order to be able to control volume from the app itself. You can however test it inside the plugin to make sure it will work with your equipment. Uh, one problem with volume control on Android is you, you basically either need an, an IR capable device or a network TV. Uh, they're both kind of rare so not everybody could use this but those who can it's a pretty cool thing to have. So uh, the idea in, in the plugin is that it, it uses profiles. So the profile itself tells the plugin how to control your television, and you would associate that profile with a DirecTV receiver that you have set up in the main app. So, generally, you're going to have one profile for each television that you want to control volume on. Uh, in, the, in the latest versions of the app there is a setup wizard when you hit the new button it'll kind of walk you through things um, if you have an IR capable phone it will tell you that and recommend that you use infrared uh, that is a recommended way to do it if you do have a phone that has that capability this one does not uh, there's various control methods some of them are infrared if you happen to have one otherwise there's uh, network networked televisions that you could use if you have one of those as well. Um, I'm going to open up a profile I already created for my Toshiba television using a Global Cache iTAC which is a device that connects to your network and can send infrared signals so that way you kind of you can still control any television, it doesn't have to be a network television you just use the iTAC instead and uh, works pretty slick, it's about 150 bucks but it kind of solves the problem so what we're going to do is one thing you need to do as I mentioned before you associate it with a certain receiver so this one the television is in my bedroom so you can see that I have this one set up to work with my bedroom DirecTV receiver now I'll go into the commands for infrared I do have some presets that are available through the app uh, various brands I don't have all brands if if your codes aren't in here or they don't work for you I could get more just uh, send me an email it's easy to do so again this was for a Toshiba I'll just kinda go through this again uh, I, I, I could test the buttons here right from within the app I do know it works so I'll just go ahead and say that it does and now the wizard is going to kind of kick in here and tell me that I need to associate this profile with a certain receiver which again it's set up with my bedroom and then it'll prompt me to enter a name I've got Toshiba iTac entered for a name and again you can hit the test button test them to make sure it works for you and if you're using the free version of the DirecTV app that's about all you can really do with it uh, again, it is meant to be a plug-in for the Pro version, but if this works, then you could say, okay, at least I know I can get volume to work if I do decide to uh, buy the Pro version. So hit the back button to get out of this. And then you'll see when you're in the main app, this is the Pro version. There's my volume buttons, and I could use that. Just send a volume command. I'm on my bedroom receiver. So that will send the, the plug-in a command saying, you know, we want to control volume on the bedroom receiver or the TV that's associated with it. So then the plug-in will use that profile. And in this case, it's going to send that signal to my iTAC, which will send an IR signal to the TV. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.